okay let's continue right for the operating cash flow for the operating cash flow we found the figure 51780 in the second part of the question right so that we need to apply for year 1 year 2 year 3 right the other information he has given working capital requirement initial working capital requirement is 20000 you know what sort of adjustment we need to do in terms of working capital requirement right we we have learned this at the beginning right it will be a cash outflow right at the end of the project life right right it will be a cash inflow we will recover the same amount 20000 now you can find the total projected cash flow right D1780 again year 251780 at the end of the third year it will be 71780 right the other information he has given required rate of return is 20 percentage required rate of return is 20 percentage means right you have to adjust this uh, total projected cash flow using the discounting factor value to find out the present value of the cash flow right you know at the year zero it will be one okay for the year one you can use the 1 over 1 plus r to the power n right here you can give instead of 1 you can give the cash flow amount upon 1 plus instead of r you can give 20 percentage which means 0 0.2 to the power n right here the power is 1 no need to put but anyway right for the second year the same value year 2 the power 2 and again the power 3 right same line you can identify the net present value right uh, if you sum it up ten thousand six hundred and forty eight that is the net present value Okay. So projected in income statement we did it right. Normally if they ask only we do this part right. You can find the net income right. Second point they ask operating cash flow. Operating cash flow is fifty one seven eight zero. And the third question projected total cash flow as well as net present value of the firm right. Total projected cash flow is here and the net present value. So put this color. Okay. That's it for the question number two. Thank you very much.